can hear you. I can. <laughs> Sorry about that. You can hear you loud, loud and clear. I can hear it right here. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's talk some Go shit. Ahead, let's talk some shit. Hey, man, what it is, what it do. It's your boy, Hollow McFly, man. One half of the Box Day Bros here with none other than Raz B from B2K, man. How you doing? What? Man, I'm blessed. Highly favored. Happy to be in the building for part two. And I brought the whole crew with me. Y'all say what up? Yeah! yeah. Got the lovely Mike yeah. in the building. You know what I'm saying? Right. Got yeah. Got gang in here. Yeah, yeah, so how's it been, man? How's it been? How do you like Colorado? You know what? I enjoyed my ride here. Uh, it was very peaceful. Um, I could definitely see myself getting some real estate here. You know really? I mean? yeah. yeah. It's very peaceful. Yeah. Away from all the 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 the, the hubbly hobbly blah blah. <laughs> <laughs> that extra, yeah. It's pretty you know, slow it's, down here, so it's pretty calm, cool. So nah. I think it might uh, fit you a little bit. I'm yeah, I like that. Yeah, man. I'm getting a lot older, man. Yeah. You know what I'm okay. It's time yeah. to time to slow down. I got I got one question. I want to throw this. Uh oh. Uh, my DJ told me to ask you what made you choose Colorado out of all the places that you've been. Or you could have picked for this. You know, I believe Colorado chose me. Um, I made a record called Guidance, which is a very transparent record, uh, really vulnerable. You know what I mean? And and uh, the, with the overwhelming response, it, it came from Colorado, and uh, I decided I wanted to dig into the community versus just coming here and do a show. I wanted to see how I can add some value to the city. Uh, so can you please reflect on some of the key lessons you've learned throughout your music career, both as a part of B2K and as a solo artist? Wow, that's a really good question. Some of the things I can reflect that I've learned. Oh, uh, man, just um, hard work, you know, staying true to your uh, to your craft, you know, staying focused on your own business, and, you know, and really measuring your own success. Because when you focus on other people's, you know, success, you, you kind of get, you know, kind of get like, not focus on your on your vision. You get lost. You know what I mean. I, I believe that you know, starting with B2K, I wanted to be a part of one of the biggest groups of all time, and I've accomplished that. Yeah. And uh, just now, moving, you know, learning uh, with the platform that I've been given, it's really about being able to uh, pay for 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 new artists like Maya herself, who's coming up, okay. who's featured on this track called Drip on Me, and I'm happy that she's out here. She's about to hit the stage with us. Yeah. Hey. too. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, very groovy for sure. So to add to that, considering you've been in one of the Transitioning to a solo artist, mm -hmm. do you feel that you need to compete with that or live up to that, or is it just something you're just like, you know what, this is me. You guys get to actually see me for me and not, you know. That's a really good question. I mean, wow, <laughs> I never thought about that. You know, I feel like that's part of the evolution. You know what I'm saying? Um, that's my foundation. You know, B2K was, I am, right. and I feel like the fact that I'm continuing to make music, you know, I'm still, um, I'm definitely, you know. I would say relevant with the people today. You know, I'm coming outside, so I feel like it's just a new journey. I don't feel like I have to compete with that. I feel like that's the past, and uh, this is the future. You know, so. Top three artists you would want to work with. If top. you knew they would say yes, who you, who you bring into the studio? Yo, Mike, help me out with this one. Top, top three artists, man. Well, throw me one. Ooh, Burner Boy is fire. The weekend is crazy. What y'all, yo, T? I would have said Burner Boy. Oh, see, yeah, hey, yeah, even the dance crew. Yeah. TVD would say, yeah, so Burner Boy, The Weeknd, and um, one more. Let me just throw one more out there. Rihanna, why not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me get a hook from Rihanna. Riri. Let me get a hook from Riri. That's, that's, that's yeah, that'd be crazy. You got to pay for Riri. No, listen. No. It, it, hey, that's a, that's a if she want to. Right. And that's a, that's a, are we friends? Yeah, you, know what I mean? like, you know what I'm saying? For sure. Got to have that relationship. How do you maintain your artistic drive and passion for music? Mm. Uh, you know. That's a really good question. How do I uh, life maintain? Gets in the way, right, you artistic. Know. You know what? What well, um, life imitates art. You know, so for, for for real. So, you know, just looking at my trials and tribulations, the things that I go through in life, um, friendships, relationships, they all inspire me to to write good music. So, I would definitely say that that's been focus and really being as transparent as possible in my music but at the same time keep it fun keep it fun and funky kind of like the record drip on me you know it's real laid back real funky very islandy real islandy you know I mean? and then Maya came and put some some extra sauce in there yeah. for the ladies you know what I'm saying so you know um yeah life inspires for sure uh in what ways have you seen the music industry change since B2K oh wow and how have these changes impacted you 
In what ways have I seen the music industry change and how does it impact me? Well, I would say that um, I see a lot of artists, there's no shot fires, but there's a lot of artists that don't really harness their craft as much. Right. It seems like it's made a little bit more easy to, to make music, which is dope. But I feel like when you actually know the fundamentals to, to, to making great music and understanding artistic, uh, 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 the work that's, that goes into artist development that really you know can help create longevity. Um, I see a lack of that in the business, you know, and I feel like there's a lot of, you know, cop out, you know what I'm saying? So, and then it's a digital era, so I, I would say that, you know, B2K came out, you know, in the new millennium. So, uh, compared to, I would say, you know, the Michael Jackson days, compared to internet and stuff like that nowadays, you know, things can spread a lot further. And people just so tish been spanned. Yeah, I agree. Because you guys were going crazy without the internet. Yeah. Y'all would have yeah. some shit up with the Side, like. But there's a lot of benefits in that because you can reach more people. And I mean, you know, it's a bandwidth problem. So I think there's a lot of great benefits. I just want to see artists you know, harness their craft. You know, that's why I like to collaborate with Maya a lot. She's an amazing song, singer, songwriter, and I want to give her this opportunity to feature on this track called Drip On Me. And she did an amazing job. So I brought her out here to grace the stage for all the ladies. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Awesome. What's, what do you like to do outside of music? Good question. What do I like to do with outside of music? Right. Yeah. What, yeah, what do we like to do outside of music, y'all? Dance. Yeah. <laughs> we like we like to dance, man. We like to dance and have a good time, man. Just positive vibes. We love to, you know, we love to see the people smiling. Um, but uh, you know, on a personal note, I like to. I, I would consider myself an avid reader. I like to read, um, and I love to. I love to learn new things. You know what I mean? I love to continue to evolve, and that's what this Raspy Evolution Project is about. Not just not just in music, but just in life as a human being. You know, being able to understand the platform that we've been given to be able to, you know, to continue to uh, speak to the masses and do positive things for the community. Okay. Yeah. What would you tell the younger Raspy if you can go oh, back right snaps. now and give them one vital piece of advice? Like, listen up. Uh, <laughs> shut your damn mouth. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, don't hang around with the wrong crowds. Don't be inspired. You know what I mean? Uh, you know, stay true to what you what you what you grew up on, and, and uh, but really just stay away from the wrong crowds because there can be a lot of you know people that have come around that essentially want your spot, and uh, they'll you you they'll be actually feeding you some BS. When in actuality, you was already on the right path, but sometimes you have to. You have to veer off to, to, to get back on and really appreciate what you got. Because a lot of times you take things for granted. It's like we look back with B2K and if we kept going, you know what I'm saying, imagine what we would be today. But, you know, uh, six years ago we sealed our legacy tour. You know, after the 16 years the group came back together, the tour did $28 million. So that just let us know that, you know, there's still, you know, the, the work that we did in the past is, is very much relevant to, to today. Of course. Of course. Right. Music is timeless. That's never going to end. Yeah, I agree with you. Uh, what advice would you give to any up and coming aspiring R&B artists uh, to break into the industry or trying to break into the industry? Yo, Mike, can you answer that question for me? What would you tell up coming artists? I mean, I'm around you. I'm, I'm, this is like my sister, you know, I'm hard on her. I'm, I'm sure sometimes she want to frown her face at me, but she's a phenomenal artist and I've learned so much in the past, you know, 20 some odd years of my career. So it's just really like, you got to live in the moment. You got to like really embrace the support that you have around you, you know what I'm saying? We're at the, we're at the beat, you know what I'm saying? A lot of artists wish they could be up here, right. but the fact that she's here and she got the support from her mother, she got an amazing dance team behind her, like she's coming strong, you know what I mean? So just really live in the moment, work hard, harness your craft and, uh, <laughs> hey, ladies, did you hear that? Men, men, same thing. Leave that girl alone. Handle your business. Yeah, you gotta stay. You gotta stay focused. You know what I mean? Because if you put in the work, it's like now I'm enjoying the fruits of my labor, right? And I, I've worked since I was a kid. You know, I'm now 38 years old, and I'm really enjoying the fruits of my labor. I get to choose and pick what I want to do. So if you really want to make your dreams come true, you gotta really stay focused. And I, I know a lot of adults say that to kids, but. It's, it's the truth because if you don't stay focused, you're gonna look up and you realize you wasted a lot of time. So whatever it is that you're trying to accomplish in your life, focus and don't waste people's time and waste people's money. Yeah, don't waste money for sure because it's what, like 200,000, something like that to try to break a record? I mean, come on. I mean, it's expensive. Uh, yes, you know, brother. You got, you know. uh, that part. How can I swing this from here? Oh, shit. Oh, there you go, man. We'll do it easy. Here. Five, top five songs to perform. Like what, what really Ooh. gets you going? Ooh. 
Okay. Five top songs for Raz B that gets me going. I mean, definitely, I love performing Aha, uh -huh, which is B2K's first record that was released. It was 13 weeks at number one. I'm really loving performing this birthday thong, this new record <laughs> that hopefully we get a chance to oh, premiere. It's a birthday thong. Yeah, it's called Birthday Thong. Thong for the birthday. Yeah. <laughs> Separate one, you know what I mean? Okay. Um, another record that really kind of fires me up, um, Drip On Me is, is, is really dope. It's a, it's a real laid back vibe. Um, and I love my vocals on that track. I love my vocals and I love the ad-libs that Maya does on there. I'm always singing them. Um, and last but not least would have to be this record called Guidance. Guidance is, um, it's hard. I'm actually gonna perform it tomorrow. This record is, is so transparent. It's like it, it addresses the elephants in the room. And of course my classics, I can't forget the bump, bump, bump and the girlfriend. I mean, I mean, yeah, but. Yeah, I'm just saying, but you know, so uh, yeah, those are some of my top favorites. So and piggybacking off of that, okay, the creative process on one of your biggest hits. Ooh, the creative process on one of our biggest hits. You well, I mean, you did a Christmas album. I oh, was you, just telling him. I said, you know, I said, you we, know how you knew he was the drum back then. If you, you had a Christmas, Christmas album, album. I'm, I'm crying. You, I'm telling you. You know what? Uh, well, we actually knocked that album out in like less than a week. That's why that's Fizz is rapping on so many of those tracks. And B2K was rapping too. We was like, <laughs> let's knock this out real quick before we go to Europe. Um, well, oh man, we B2K has such an amazing team. For example, you know, R. Kelly, when he would, like, he customized a lot of those records for us wow. when he wrote Girlfriend or when he wrote What a Girl Wants. So that was them in there doing Raspy, I'm a Gemini. Okay. And I was like, okay. You know, we really got involved. I mean, we wanted to be involved in our first album. We wrote like two records, but our second album, Pandemonium, we actually wrote like 10 records. And our, our biggest focus was to make sure we continue to make records that the whole family can listen to, something positive. No disrespect to, you know, with, you know other genres and what they want to say, but we want, right. to, we, want to, we want to make something that the whole world. I mean, yeah, but, but, but got to be. We yeah. talked about that before. Got to be was pretty grown. It was pretty edgy. So, I mean, the older we got, we wanted to still keep a mature message, yet at the same time, we wanted to stay edgy. So, okay. but uh, yeah, now it's a little bit different. I can pretty much say what I want to say. Right. right. With respect. <laughs> With all due <laughs> respect. And, I, what, last question maybe? Maybe. Uh, ask them about um, the show, okay. and then have them throw into the thong birthday. Ooh, Before oh. that, oh. let's get this question. Yes, sir. Who is Raspy? That's a good question. Who is Rasby? A man of God with integrity, full of love and compassion for the people and myself, and um, definitely a leader. So give us some insight about why you're here and what's going on this weekend, sir. So Maya, why are we here? What are we doing? We got a show. We got a show? Nah, yeah, for real. Like she said, I'm gonna tag onto that. It's the Rasby evolution. Everything that I'm about, everything that we stand for, B2K cares. Really come into the city. We want to connect with the people. We want to see what, how can we add value? What community, community outreach can we put together? How can we use, you know, artistic uh, gifts that God has given us to help inspire every at risk youth, at risk youth. You know what I'm saying? We want to be able to provide a, a a place for them to harness their skills. You know what I'm saying? So they're not going down the wrong path. So most importantly, we're gonna be out here in the springs at production point the tickets are going for 25 dollars vip meet and greet we want everybody to come out if you've seen the show bad boys you know on the zeus network it's running now make sure you uh tune into that and uh if you just want to come out and hang out with uh with tbd say what up y'all yeah that we man we got a crazy show man we want to give everybody a little glimpse of what's the what the future holds as rasby as a solo artist and maya you already know right well shout out to the team maya rasby Box State brother K Chiba man. Yeah. Make sure you guys pull up to check out Raz B this weekend. Just yes, people in production. If you haven't got your tickets, you can go ahead and do so. Go and get them. And, uh, yeah. and, and, and before we leave, we're going to leave you with something hot, fresh, new, and exclusive. You heard it here first. Uh -huh. Birthday Thong by Raz B. Let's go! Yeah. Yeah.